Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So we're going to be talking about Starbucks's Nespresso capsules, and in particular, we're going to talk about their Pike's Place. Personally, I absolutely love their Pike's Place coffee. I think it tastes amazing. It's the original coffee from Starbucks, so you have to give it some credit on that. But in this video, we are going to be doing a hands-on with the box. We're going to take a look at the capsules, then we're going to throw it to the Breville to brew up a nice steamy hot cup of espresso. Then we're gonna do the sip test, which is the favorite part of my day. I absolutely love tasting new coffee. And after that, we'll know whether this is something to drink daily, weekly, monthly, or never. Hopefully that's not the case, because I love Pike's Place. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at these bad boys right quick. So you got their iconic Starbucks logo right there. Very bold and shiny Starbucks right there. So this is the most crucial part. This is 1.86 ounces. So that's not a lot of coffee, people. You're getting a very small amount for, I don't know how much you paid for it, but that is a very small amount. I wish they would tell you per capsule because there's no way there's 1.86 ounces per capsule um, so let's continue on down this very strange box you have their sense 71 right there very cool Starbucks Pikes <laughs> Starbucks Pike place roast lungo so that is very crucial right there lungo means you're going to be doing a very large um, espresso shot or um, somewhat of an Americano. So we'll sh I'll talk about that when, when we get to the Breville machine. But this is a 10 capsule cylinder, not a cylinder, rectangle, um, roasted, roast and ground coffee. Cool. By Nespresso intensity level seven people. We're moving on up. Let's take a look over here. I wish they wouldn't do this uh, fresh by date thing. It, it looks like some kind of cryptic, cryptic code. It looks very strange. I am not a fan at all, and I think they do it just to discourage you from even understanding what's going on here. <laughs> but anyways, so basically this was put into the capsule, um, like a time capsule, but for coffee. Um, uh, what is that? November uh, 13th, 2019. And it is currently September um, 2020. So we are getting close to this fresh by date and I just bought it like a couple days ago. So that is what is somewhat um, annoying, I guess, uh, about these things is they try to be as fresh as possible, but they produce so much of them that they end up being, you know, partially, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the back. Contents, 10 capsules. All right, 100% Arabica. And ingredients, ground Arabica coffee. Very cool. You do not want to see anything else in there otherwise it is going to be gross all right take a look at the back you got a little bit of the backstory chocolate and toasted nut notes very cool all right this is a medium roast hey there's blonde <laughs> And we're moving our way to the dark. All right. So if you watched my last video, I got this confused. I thought that when they were, uh, uh, you know, not whatever. I don't know. I got it confused. But this one, I'm not confused. That's Lungo. I know what that means. All right. Let's take a look at this side. Very cool. All right. I think. Yeah, I think that's it. These things are so hard to review on camera, people. It's just crazy. All right. Nonetheless, we're going to crack these bad boys open. 
I really like how easily they crack open. Now, if you remember my last video, they all came out dented, and these are looking very similar. This is actually why I stopped buying the Nespresso um, capsules because they would all come completely dented because of the way they were stored in that box. So these are looking a little bit better than the blonde. There's a dent right there. So this can actually, um, if it's dented enough, it can actually cause it to not fit into the Nespresso machine and you can have a major problem. That is, it's just, it, it's poor packaging. Like they will not change the packaging on them um, and yet they all come out dented. So you're paying a premium to get the aluminum capsule from Starbucks and from Nespresso and they don't even bother to respect you enough to put them in a case like um, Pete's does. If you watch my Pete's Nespresso review, they put them in, in, a, in a individually whatever I don't know they have some kind of way of keeping them from bumping into each other um, so like I said in the blonde video definitely go with Pete's avoid Starbucks hopefully Starbucks watches my videos and goes oh maybe we should tell an espresso yeah right <laughs> nope yep there's some more dentage all right these are kind of uh, plain, a little bit ugly, and I think they could do better. This is just, it's like you're paying a premium for a capsule and they don't even bother to throw intensity level on it or anything like that. So definitely um, Pete's is the champion, um, but hopefully these taste good. So let's go ahead and throw them to the Breville. All right, let's get into the sip test, shall we, people? Oh, wow. That is very smooth. It definitely tastes almost exactly, hold on. Wow, those flavor notes are spot on to, it's got that chocolatey, and that nutty sort of flavor to it that is spot on to their suggestion of the flavor notes. Wow. It's very smooth. That is, that is a very smooth cup of coffee. Wow. Yeah, that is definitely enjoyable. It's a little bit harsh, so it's not gonna be something that you're gonna want to consume I would say all the time. It's definitely a pull it out, have a shot, put it away, and remember that it is quite strong. Um, but it definitely has that flavor that you're gonna enjoy. So it's an enjoyable flavor, but it's definitely a little bit strong. It's got that earthy, it's got that earthy taste to it um, that you're gonna enjoy. But yeah, definitely. I would say it's definitely not my favorite of the um, Nespresso's from Starbucks. I, I, my top is Cafe Verona, Cafe Verona. Um, but yeah, this one is definitely up there. I would probably give it, um, I'd probably give it about three and three quarter stars. I'm not gonna say it's a four star. It's definitely not a five star. Um, it's enjoyable. If you've ever had Pike Place coffee, you'll know 
this sort of taste. Um, the, the Nespresso is just a little bit stronger, a little bit more burnt uh, tasting version of that. I would say that when you're buying Starbucks uh, Nespresso pods, you need to watch out because their flavor and quality kind of vary depending on which roast and um, which capsules you're buying. You can't just buy every single one and trust that you're going to get a great cup of coffee or a great espresso. Um, right now, I'm going to say Pete's is at the top of my list. I have not tried all of the Nespresso uh, capsules from other companies, so definitely subscribe to this channel if you want to see me try all of them because I am going to, <laughs> every week I review different uh, Nespresso capsules, so definitely come back to this channel for more of that. Yeah, it's not bad. Three and three quarter stars. Three and three quarter stars, people. It's good. You're not gonna you're not gonna fall in love with it. Well, maybe you will, but I am not. I'm not in love. <laughs> All right, you made it to the end. This is my outro, people. Thank you for getting this far. You are amazing. Starbucks is Nespresso capsules. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click and clack that like button. Show me some love. And if you wanna join the at-home family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a little boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys. I'm still here, I'm going strong. I'm pumping out videos every week for you guys. And I can't thank you enough. You guys are absolutely amazing. You're truly the, 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 the inspiration, the muse. You are everything to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this channel is only going to grow larger. Yes, people, yes. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>